very quickly explain to you how our brain works and why we're stuck in the past and why we can't be adaptable for in the future. And it's very, very simple when you start to understand the theory behind it is that we've all become addicted to something called a high beta brainwave. And in this high beta brainwave that we have become addicted to, that we don't even know we become addicted to, what we are is awake, alert, but on edge. Everybody's on edge. People's feet are tapping up and down. We need sugar. We need vodka because it doesn't smell. We need whatever we need to be able to get rid of the stress that we have. And because of this addiction to high beta brainwave, we have a society and a culture and an organizational setup around the world that's all about extraction. It's all about taking as much as you can as quickly as possible. It's all about based on outcomes, and it's all based on adrenaline. And all of us wake up in the morning, we don't even know that we're doing this, we think this is normal, but this is not normal at all in any way. But we are asking our people that are fueled by adrenaline and addicted to certainty to be creative and lateral in the way they think. Guess what? Impossible. When you're highly stressed, are you creative? Of course not. And if you are fueled by adrenaline, and are you thinking about collaborating? No, of course not. You want to be competing. And so this adrenaline-fueled body creates personality traits that doesn't allow you to be adaptable. It holds you stuck to familiarity. Gents, I can hear you, eh? It's not a TV. Thanks. So what high beta brainwaves does to us, it gets us to have personality traits that we are all already having without even knowing we're having them. One, anybody here anxious and afraid for no reason at all? Yeah. Most of us, the telephone rings. You're like, whoa, oh, 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 I hope that's not some, oh. Then a tweet comes up. You're like, oh, oh. Like our first reaction to things are, whoa, oh, oh, I'm a bit scared. I'm, I'm feel, for no reason at all. There's no tiger outside. You have a warm shower. Your tummy's full. Your makeup looks awesome. Your hair looks amazing. What are you afraid of and what's scared of? What's happened is we become addicted to a high beta brainwave without even realizing that everything is scary. Two, anybody got OCD? Can't keep clean enough. Everything has to be perfect. And da, 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 da. What is that? That's an addiction to certainty. It's not creative. It's not lateral. It's not collaborative. It's not creative. It's an outcome-based ideology that we have. Three, anybody have sleep difficulties? Just can't sleep because your brain doesn't want to shut off? Guess what? That's all based on adrenaline and high beta brainwaves. In fact, what they've proven now, that if you're in a high beta brainwave for longer than five years, your brain never switches off. Even when you're sleeping, 25% of your brain is wide awake looking for danger, which is an unbelievable thing. That's why sleeping tablets are doing so well as a business, because people aren't able to actually shut down that high beta brainwave to access new types of creativity. Four, your inner voice tells you you're ugly, fat, and poor. Anybody here suffer from that? No matter how rich you are and how beautiful you are, your inner voice, because of a high beta brainwave, says, just haven't quite made it. Everybody around you is better. Your sister's smarter, your brother's richer, your cousin's better looking. This is all the internal voice that we have. And then lastly, the high beta brainwave never prepares you for the future. It always keeps you stuck to the past. And if we understand the future is about adaptability, we realize that this high beta brainwave is in fact our enemy of preparation for the future.